Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, 
equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Lending Library Database Template. So underneath our Database Tools and Miscellaneous Templates, scroll down and hit the Lending Library Database right here. Once that web page is open, go to the Download a Demonstration section and download the demonstration that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to download this one. Once you've downloaded it, open the file, and the file is zipped up, so you're going to need to extract all the contents of that. Extract, and then open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security warning or risk. I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And with all of our database templates, you also get this pop-up box just stating that this is a demo version of this database template. So none of your data you enter will be stored. If you want to save the information you enter, you have to purchase the, data, the full version of the database template. This pop-up box also has all the different ways that you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to close out of this for now. So this is the Lending Library Database Template. So it's designed for a company or an individual to be able to lend out specific assets that they have and also keep track of who they lent that asset to, what the asset was, how long they're lending it to them, the price of the asset, that kind of stuff. So to begin this uh, tutorial we're going to go ahead and create a new contact. So go to the contacts tab and then hit the add new contact button. So there's a lot of information you can fill out about contacts. I'm just going to fill out the bare minimum for the sake of this demonstration. Let's put in the first name there. Oh, whoops. Put in the first name there, then the last name here. Okay. Um, company will say WSI. And then we'll put in a phone number. And then we'll put in and eh, we'll put in a city. <laughs> and a state. Test. Test. And then an email, we'll just put in a little test email quickly. But as you can see, you can fill out a lot of information with the contact. You can put an image of the contact that they have. And once we add in some uh, lending of assets, they'll also have a lending history as well as what they're currently being lent. So it's pretty cool. You can also save this as an Outlook content, so or uh, Outlook contact. So then you can email them information. Um, you can also create a, as many contacts as you want. So we're going to go ahead and hit Save a New here. So it's going to save that contact, and then a new form is going to open up, but we will not be entering in a new one. Let's go ahead and close that. So now if I wanted to search for that contact, so if you had, you know, a thousand contacts in this database and you wanted to search for a specific one to know what they're lending out now or maybe the lending history or just to edit some information, simply go to the search bar and you can search by first name, last name, company, or job title. So we're just going to go ahead and search by that first name. Hit search. There we go. Blake Smith WSI, the one I just created, shows up. And so now if you wanted to edit some information about this employee, you'd simply have to double click the cell that shows up. And then now it opens up this box again. So you can edit information, add in some more information, maybe see if there's any lending history now, all that good stuff. There is not, so we're going to go ahead and close out of this for now. And close out of this for now. So now we're going to go to assets. So hit assets and then you hit add new asset. So the asset item, we're going to say it is a laptop. And so we're going to say the category down here is category two. Now you can see we have category one, two, and three. That was just put in for the sake of the demonstration. If you purchase the database template, you'll be able to put in all of your own categories, all of your own locations. As you can see here, there's different locations, all your own conditions. You can put in any of your own information you'd like. So we're going to go category two. We're going to say the manufacturer was Dell model we'll just put test i can't think of any dell models off the top of my head um, purchase price we can say they bought it for nine hundred dollars and the current value you know it's been a few years they've used it for a couple years so we're going to say it's 800. condition we're going to say satisfactory location like i said you can put in your own location but for the sake of the demo we'll put in that and the owner is blake smith that, that contact that i just created so if i wanted to check out that laptop I could do that right now but it is already checked out as you can tell like we because we added that lower current value and, um, yeah 
So you can add in some comments about the laptop. Maybe it's missing the W key or there's a small scratch on the back, anything like that. And you can even see, oh, is it checked out currently? Who's it checked out to? In the lending history, who's it been checked out to? So if you go back to this asset details tab, we're gonna go to the action and we're gonna check out. So now I can pick who I wanna check out to. And since I did put Blake Smith as the owner of this laptop, we're gonna go ahead and give, uh, say that we're checking it out to this other contact that's just in this uh, database called first last that's just a test contact so hit first last and we're going to say they checked it out today and they're going to have it for a week and the checked out the condition was satisfactory so then we can check out now so now you can see some lending informa information some lending history of it I gotta save and close this now so now it's saving I've hit saved and so now if I wanted to search for that specific product so I can search by the atom the item, the category, the manufacturer, or the model. So if I search for all, I want to know all Dell laptops that are lent out right now. Type in D. Look at that. It's the first one. It's the only one that's there right now. And even from this tab specifically, I can check out to someone if I'd like. I don't have to open it back up. I'm not for now. But you can also double click that asset record if you wanted to go back and edit some more information or add in some more information about the asset. So close out of this so this database it's pretty cool it's pretty powerful powerful and it'd be perfect for if you did lend out a lot of products to people a lot of assets that you need to keep track of you need to keep track of those contacts who has those so i'm going to go ahead and thank you guys for taking your time to watch this microsoft access expert template walkthrough brought to you by winning solutions inc i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to like or subscribe to our youtube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials as as always feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. If you want some programming done, you want to customize a template, you want to build a new template, anything, feel free to contact us for any of your IT needs whenever you want. You can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.